Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do the super popular neckline embroidery. So stay tuned if you wanna see how I did this. So I am going to be using a Gildan. I think it's 1800, it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I'll put the exact one below, but this is just a size medium and I have it folded in half to find center. All right, so what we're gonna need today, I'm gonna use some soft and sheer. It's super, super, super thin, and then I'm going to use some tear away stabilizer as a secondary. Then um, I'm gonna put the word mama on the collar, and I designed this in Brilliance, the free version, and I just used a BX font. I think this is Libby Jane from Alphalicious Designs. I'll put the exact font below in the description. So I designed it in Brilliance and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But I'm gonna cut it out and make sure I got it right. So what I did was I printed it and I'm gonna make sure I got the curvature right before I go crazy putting it on the machine. This is what it looks like and I'm gonna cut around and see if it's the right placement and if it looks good enough. Yeah, I actually like that. What I did was I pretty much angled it in my software so I could have the crosshairs because this was driving me nuts, not having the crosshairs correct. So when I hoop it, I know that's the center point. So about right there, but that looks really good to me. So that's centered and then I can just stitch. So there is my center point. And there's the wording. I think that looks really good. Okay, so what I did was I have my font. I have Livy Jane 1.5 inch. I'm actually gonna do it again just so I can show you the whole process, okay? It's not that hard once you figure it out. So I am going to create a new tab. Go to text. I'm gonna type the word mama. Enter. I'm gonna go to Livy Jane. This is Alphalicious Designs. It is Livy Jane, 1.5, okay? So what I always like to do, you see how they're spaced out? First, I'm going to use this little circle button, do this little place on bottom. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna hit 102, cause that's what I had it at, or a four inch radius. So 102 millimeter radius or four inches. And I'm going to take it and I'm gonna kind of bring them together. And then I'm gonna kind of work them together. I like my items to be pretty good. So I will probably move this and that. That. It looks good. I always like to make sure they're touching, they look correct. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center that. I'm gonna take it. So there it is, close up. Everything's looking smooth, connecting. Now I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so what I did was I went up here and I hit 75 degrees to rotate this design. So if you go back to zero, so there it was there, like that. And now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rotate up here in our little degree box. I'm gonna take it and go 75, and there we go. So I'm gonna print it out, and that's what it's gonna look like, okay? Let's go ahead and get it hooped, and let's stitch it out and see if I did it right. So like anything, do it for you. So what you do is you hit the circle button, place on bottom, and then adjust the radius. You might have a super long name that you're doing along the neckline or a phrase. So adjust that radius to fit and print it out is the best way that you can do it. Print it out so you can see it, see if you got the curvature right, and see if your placement is correct. Okay, just a little disclaimer there. All right, let's get it hooped. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin exactly where I want it. Okay, so I figured out how to do it with my mighty hoop, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so what I did was I took it and I scooted the seam down so I could have some room to play. Cause you always, you don't want to ever 
get close to that and then have to worry about it shifting. So we're gonna take it like that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, now that I have the design pinned, I'm gonna take it and spray some adhesive on. my tear away Okay, I did pretty good for not really knowing what I was doing. Okay, so there it is. So I have my tear away as my like extra backer and kind of like almost my, just a placeholder to make sure since I'm not using the whole, I'm not hooping the whole item and there's a gap, this is just a little stabilization for this part. You can see my soft and sheer under here that I tacked down. Um, it's pretty much centered in my hoop. So let's get on the machine, stitch it out, and then we'll see how I did. Okay, so here it is. And of course, I'm gonna take these pins out before we embroider, okay? So I've already oiled my machine. I've loaded the design into my Melco software. And this is the five by five Mighty Hoop. And I am just gonna take that neck, make sure it's not stuck there. Okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my laser. Okay. So you can see my laser is almost right on the money. I need to go up just a little bit. I'm gonna take this pin out so I can really see. Let me toggle. All right, now I'm gonna trace. So I've traced the design. I think I'm ready to hit start, guys. Are you ready? Let's see, okay. I'm going to remove my pins, don't forget to do that. And I'm just gonna toggle these so I can grab that. And we should be ready to go. I may put some water salvy on top. Y'all know I love this for just extra. I've got some from All Stitch. Okay, let's make sure. All right, let's go. Okay, so it just finished. Let's see. The stitching is fantastic. Look at that font. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I don't know about my place, but we'll see. We're gonna see. So right off the bat, um, when I'm using water salvy and I see a jump stitch, I like to do it before. I like to trim the jump stitches before I pull the water salvy off because it gives me an extra barrier so I don't cut the shirt. So. I just go in, I go closest to one side, and then I go to the other. Okay, so we did those, and one more. All right, let's take it off the hoop and see how I did. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna take the tear away. 
then we're gonna cut around the soft and sheer. Moment of truth, are you guys ready? I'm not ready. <gasps> it looks cute, let me try it on real quick. All right, what do you guys think? The curvature is perfect, that looks great. What do you guys think? Should I have put it more, this is center. Should I put it closer to center? It looks great though. So, have you ever tried embroidering the collar of a sweatshirt? Let me know your tips and tricks. And let me know if you think it should have been moved over a little bit more. I don't know. Either way, I'm super proud of myself for trying a new type of embroidery. I have never done anything curved and actually turned down an order because I had no clue how to do it. So I hope this inspires you to try something new and different. I will link everything I have used today in the description box below. And as always, if you want more information about the Melco, contact Ron. I will leave his cell phone number below as well as a link you can click on. You can text him or click that link for more information. As well as I will have the font I used and the sweatshirt links below. So that is it for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed. You are not going to want to miss out on any upcoming tutorials I have. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.